before you're about to make any type of chicken, make sure that you clean it very thoroughly. I always clean my chicken. I do not skip this step. And I use apple cider vinegar, sea salt, water, and lemon. And I like to scrub it with the lemon and the sea salt. The other day someone asked me like, why are you always shorting your videos and you don't put all the steps? So today I wanted to do a different approach. So after my chicken has been thoroughly cleaned, I'm just gonna pat it dry. What I'm doing here is my method of getting the chicken completely dry. Now that my chicken is completely dry, what I'm gonna do here is start seasoning my chicken. You can use the seasoning that I listed, or you can use your own. However, everything that I'm using, I just listed it for the people that want the exact taste that I have. And trust me, if you use all these ingredients and follow my recipe to the tea, your chicken will come out bomb. So now I'm gonna pour some olive oil just to make sure that the chicken is moist and then I'm gonna rub that in. So now I'm going to season the opposite side in my bowl and then I'm going to pour on my marinade. I'm going to cover this in plastic wrap and let my chicken marinate for a minimum of one hour. Okay, so now on medium high heat, I'm gonna coat my pan with olive oil and then I'm gonna let it get a little hot. After that, I'm gonna put in my minced garlic. You can do chopped garlic if you want. This was just easier for me. And then I'm gonna add in my sasson. And then after that, I'm gonna add in my homemade sofrito. I actually have a video of that on my channel. So you're gonna mix that and let this cook up for a couple of minutes. And this smells so good, your house would immediately become fragrant. So now I'm gonna add in my seasonings, which will be listed above. By the way, it's no specific measurements, but I did add more cumin than anything else. Okay, so now it's time to add my chicken. I always like to brown my chicken, skin side up. Even though there's no skin on this, you pretty much get what I'm doing. And then I like to flip it over. So basically, I'm making sure that the bottom of the chicken or the opposite side has seasoning in it. Just in case, as a cook, it tends to lose seasoning. And then when you turn it over, the seasoning is gone. So it's really hard to explain, but if you watch what I was just doing, you'll understand. So I'm gonna let this cook for about three to five minutes. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip my chicken over. And now I'm gonna let it brown for another three to five minutes on the opposite side.
And this chicken is very easy to make and it's very, very flavorful. Um, once you make it one time, I guarantee you, you're gonna wanna make it a lot. And you don't necessarily have to use chicken thighs. You can use chicken breasts or also wings if you like. So now that my chicken has been cooking for a while and it has released its juices, I'm gonna add in my vinegar. I do not use any specific measurements. I just pour the vinegar until it almost covers the top of the chicken. And then after that, I'm gonna put some water in it. So watch very closely. When I add the water, it's gonna almost cover the chicken, but not quite. And this is exactly how much you need. Now you're gonna stir it up just to make sure that everything is completely combined and you're gonna let it cook for a while. I think I let it cook for about 20 minutes. So after your chicken has been cooking for about 20 minutes, now you're gonna take your orange and squeeze it over the chicken and then you'll do the same with your lemon. So now you're gonna stir that up really well and then you're gonna add your onions. I use one whole sweet Vendalia onions. You can use a Spanish onion, a white onion, whichever onions you like. This is the type of onions I like to use, so yeah. Whatever you like, use it. You're gonna cover it and you're gonna let it cook for about 30 minutes. So it's been cooking for about 30 minutes. So now it's the time to taste your chicken to make sure that you like it. So what you're gonna do is take a spoonful of the broth and taste it. You can add any extra seasonings or any salt, whatever you feel that you need to make it to your liking. So you're gonna cover it back up and let it cook on low for an additional 20 minutes. So now the chicken is ready. Um, it's very tender and just falling apart. I'm not even putting any pressure when I'm pulling the pieces. So yeah, the chicken is ready and what I like to do is I like to turn my heat off and then I like to cover it back and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. This chicken is so good and usually I'll serve it with white rice and beans, but I'm trying to stay away from like high carbs and starches so I may saute spinach.